What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. I am one of three hosts. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies, Jesse. How's it going? And Mike. What's going on? Guys, this is the first of one of our special episodes. We're entitling this uh, a favorites episode, and uh, this is one of the episodes where we're going to talk about one of our favorite Walking Dead episodes, and I think this is a, a start of something very fun and cool for us to do for you guys. It's also fun for us to... to recap and go back in time and look at some of the fun stuff that we liked about the show yeah. i think that we uh we're, we're probably going to do this for other shows as well um uh, in the Absolutely. future right um game of thrones game of thrones and probably as as, as our t- as time goes on we'll probably have other shows that we add to our repertoire that we're going to end up doing it with so good fun stuff so guys what are we doing today we're going to go way back to season four one of my favorite episodes of season four is episode nine it was the mid-season premiere Episode 9 entitled After, and it's the one where everyone has already split up, and the first people we get to see is Rick and Carl, and then Michonne and her separate story, and things happen in there. And so um, we've all watched the episode uh, individually, and we've all come, and we're going to talk about it. So the way we're going to work this is whoever's episode is, we're just going to talk and why we like the episode, and then we're all just going to you know chime. Everyone will chime in, and we'll, and we'll go, uh, and we'll do that. So here we go. Number, number episode, season 4, episode 9 entitled after my favorite walking dead episode for many reasons and uh one of the reasons is it has uh rick and carl and we get to see their we get to see their relationship we get to see how carl has grown since being put in this in this situation and especially season three and the beginning of season first half season four He's, he really came into, you know, he grew up, he grew up a lot. He saw a lot of yeah. things that he didn't know how to deal with and everything. And his dad basically had checked out. He was a farmer. And in this episode, you know, which we'll get to in a second, he, he just lays into his dad about that. On the other side, we have Michonne, who, if you guys know by now, is, is my favorite comic. She's my favorite uh, character in the comic as well as the show. Um, and some things happened with, there, with her in this episode, which I really enjoyed. So um, I thought maybe uh, we talk about Carl and Rick first, and then we'll do some Michonne right yeah whatever so, you like yes so this is this is my thought so so in this episode carl mm-hmm. um they 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 leave they escape and they're on their own and uh his dad you know rick is beat up pretty badly he had a he had a pretty horrific fight with the governor uh he got hurt pretty bad there yeah. they find this little uh dive diner and uh this biker bar diner thing and they go in and this is the first time we get to see like carl being like so at, at, it opens up where carl's walking ahead of his dad and, and rick can't just he just can't keep up he's like carl yeah. you gotta wait for me we gotta stick Hold together up. and he just <laughs> looks at him and he's like whoa okay so they go to this yeah. place and, and 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 this is the first time where we see he's like you know he's like all right stay here and he's like no no, no. i'm i he goes i can do this he goes in fact you should stay here i should be clearing this myself and he's like what'd you say and he's like let's just, let's just get this done you know and they go in He's been a little douche. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? And it's funny because when I saw this episode, I was like, he's not real. Like, I, I get it. He's angry. He's angry at his dad. He's angry that his dad let that, the governor find them. He let their yeah, this baby exactly. sister get God knows where. You know what I mean? Like, he's just, and he's and he's also growing, and he's got these yeah. hormones, like hormones in well, the zombie they assume Judith's, Judith's dead. Yeah, they don't know, right? And, and, you I mean, know, they, and, found, they found her... Uh... The, the car seat, yeah. yeah. And, you know, you got to understand, C- Carl, like, that's the only link he has to his mom, you know? Yeah. yeah. In, w- in, he... se- in, which, in which season three, right? Was it season three is when he, he shot her? Yeah, yeah, in clear. Yeah. Or, wait, no. Uh, in episode no. three, season three is when he shot her, I think. Yeah. So, I mean, a while ago, but at the same time, like, so he's, you know, so he misses his mom. So so they go into the yeah. diner, and um, there's a walker there, and, and he's like, you know, you know, let we'll, we'll take care of this ourselves. He's like, I'm gonna let it loose and we're gonna do it. He grabs a hatchet and he hits the hatchet, hits him in the head with the hatchet, and um, it doesn't come out. And he's like, Oh, and Carl shoots him. He yells at Carl. Rick yells at him, says, I told you we have to save bullets. That one we could have used that one, that one could count, could have counted yeah, later, you know. Yeah. Um, and uh, slight spoiler here if you guys, if you haven't seen this, I didn't mention this at the top of the video, but if you haven't seen this, what are you doing here? <laughs> Go watch the episode or catch up, then come back here. But there are spoilers if you haven't seen it. So my one of the spoilers is that I believe this is where Rick finally gets his hatchet. Not finally, but I think this is where Rick gets that hatchet that in this last season, season seven, the first half, like, you know, mm. Negan was making fun of him. You know, like, hatchet, you know, like, what the hell? Yeah. Uh, 
So I think I think this is where he got it. And I was watching it again, going, "Oh God, I think that's where this that hatchet came from that he that he holds on to." Yeah. Um, and they they end up going into the house, and and um, so they, they end up clearing this, getting to the house to clear the house, and Carl's just being like a bitch about it, you know. He's just like, "I wanted, I can do this, blah blah blah." And he's really pissed off at his dad, and he's just yelling at him. Um, he's like, "You should eat," and he's like, "He's like, no, nah, I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat." He's like, "Eat," you know, and he gets all mad yeah. at him. So the next morning is when re- when things really go down. Carl Carl gets up and and he goes out. And he sees his father sleeping, and he thinks he's just sleeping. So he 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 goes out on his own, and he actually did, oh oh he was seeing if his dad was dead. That was right. And the door starts yeah, shaking, shake, shook the hell right? out of and him. Then, yeah, <laughs> yo, yeah, and and we don't know. We he could be dead for all we know at this point. Walkers yeah. come to the door. He gets around the back. He draws the walkers away, and he's having fun with it. It was just really fun to be like, look at this kid. Like this kid's just like I'm on my own. He's like he's dragging walkers. He's he's pulling walkers. And then, of course, what always happens is the third yeah. one surprises him, and now he's got to fight three walkers. He 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 actually survives the the encounter, gets back to the house, and he's like, "I killed three. I killed him, Dad. I killed him. I did it." And yeah. then he just laces into him, saying, "You weren't fucking there for me. You weren't there for us. You were their leader. You just wanted to garden and be a, and be a farmer." He's like, "You knew the governor was out there. You did nothing about it. You let Judith down. Yeah. You let me down. You let Mom down." He's like, and he named everybody. You let everybody down. It's like I fucking hate you. He goes, "I, you know what?" He goes, yeah. "I'd be better off if you fucking died." And he dirty, leaves. Dirty, dirty. Yeah, dirty, dirty, dirty. Of course, the whole time. Um, side note: This is one. That's one reason why I love that 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 parody song by the the youtube channel bad lip reading that song carl papa because it it pulls from this episode and it's just i just love it it's just really cool but um yeah so he goes out on his own and he finds another house and he he's having he's just feeling himself and i think every character in this world needs that um they need they need they need a way to 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 be on their own to know what they're made of because when you're a part of a group you never know you don't know who you are yeah. until you're on your own you know, yeah. and I know I'm doing a lot of this talking, but let me just finish up this real recap real quick. He finds this other house. He gets in the house. He tries to clear the house himself. He gets attacked by a zombie, almost gets eaten. The guy, the zombie pulls off his Again. shoe. He gets yeah. away. He almost got right twice in one day, but he makes it out and he's happy and he's proud of himself. He's proud of himself. And he writes on the door, Walker inside, got my shoe, but didn't get me, you know, yeah. and now, and then he's and then he's on the roof. The next shot eating, eating 120 ounces of pudding. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, but he did he went out on his own he got some supplies he provided yeah. he, he survived provided for him and his father and then he went back to his dad and then um at the very end you know towards the end of the episode that you know rick wakes up and you know because you don't know where he's going to go with this you know does he hate his dad still this and that? i mean again, again he's yeah. adolescent you know and he had to go through this but at the very end you think his dad's a walker because he's like and, and yeah. he's and he and he grabs his fucking he grabs his his dad's can and he's just like i can't do it i just can't he's like just do it just get it over with you know because he couldn't he he, he, yeah he submits he loves his dad he loves him he knows and he knows now i can be my own man but but Mm -hmm. i still need my dad and i don't want it's a lot easier with my dad yeah and i don't want and and he he cares about him he loves him and it turns out it was i think a lot of it's frustration of course he was mad look he was mad at his dad he got it out he got it out you know um but yeah, I mean, so so, though I just those are the things that that I really just enjoyed about that particular part of the episode. It was just, you know, and like you said, you guys, you guys just you guys, pretty much agree with everything I'm saying. I mean, what what other insight can you give into Carl's psyche here? Well, you this know, is I pivotal. Mean, I mean, this was a pivotal episode. Yeah, man. no, this is this is his yeah. growing up. You know, like you said, like you had said um, earlier with the whole when they come to the barbecue place, the restaurant. And how Rick is still treating him like a like a like a kid, yeah. you know, to a degree. Like Rick still feels like um, he needs to protect Carl, and that Carl's not ready yet. And I, obviously, by the end of you know, by the end when when Rick is laying in Carl's lap, you know, and in the morning when he finally wakes up and we realize Rick isn't a walker, Rick says to Carl, "You know, you're a man." Right. You know. Yeah. And it's funny because Rick realizes, obviously, by the things that Carl found. And that's when Carl admits to, you know, there was other food, Dad, but uh, it was a big jar of pudding and I ate yeah, it and all. And I ate you it know? all, yeah. And, um, yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's an evolution of Carl growing up. But in a way, he's still, like you, like Jesse said, he still needs his dad. It's easier with his dad. Well, he realizes he and doesn't have to be alone. And he, and he still does need him, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, 
exactly. You know what was a big a big scene that I wrote down too because I, you know I've watched this episode several times, but by watching it again, you catch more things. Yeah, yeah. One thing is he walked into that cool kids room. Yeah. In the house, and there was the Xbox there, the TV, and all this kind of stuff, right? The first thing Carl does is look through the games, like wow, you yeah. know. Yeah. He sees a reflection of himself in the TV. And he's like, oh, fuck, fuck this. You know, I'm not a kid. I'm, it's not about the game. Yeah, that's not who and I he, am anymore. And he grabs right. the HDMI cable. Something well, the, the power cords. And, yeah. and he ties down the, the door. door. Yeah. And the fucked up thing is it's a double slip knot or whatever he said. Whatever he said, yeah. You know, I, died, I tied a good knot, Dad. Yeah. And that's from, I learned that from Shane, you know? Yeah. And I was like, that's. Oh, you know, you remember Shane? Says, you remember Shane? Yeah, because I, I remember, remember him every, every day. day. I see his That's face the part that gets day. me. Yeah. yeah, that really was, you know, because at this moment, Carl blamed Carl blamed Rick, like like you said, For Chris. Everything. You wanted to be a farmer. You turned there. the other yeah, cheek. Man. You knew Governor was yeah. out there. Herschel died. You know, we don't know where Judith is, if she's dead or not. So, yeah, it was a big evolution, but in the end, Carl still realized himself by submitting and and almost letting Rick, if he did turn, you know, take him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that was very symbolic. And then obviously, Carl cries and says, you know, um, that how he needs his dad and, and he stuff says like he's that. Scared and yeah, yeah, yeah. It was you know to finish off the whole little end part of that. I love the knock on yeah. the door. And we'll, well get that, to so that too. you want to move? That's to, like my, can we move to like Michonne my, then? Yeah. Yeah, well, Jesse, the show, I mean, Jess? Jesse wants to chime in two on. You guys covered it. Uh, yeah. Like I said, the the part for this episode that gets me is the whole mention of Shane. And he's yeah. like, I remember oh. that every time, every yeah. day, every day. Yeah, it's like, that was God. a knife. <laughs> yeah, that was a knife in Rick's heart, man. It really was. Song. You know, it was great. You know, it was great though too when they get in the house and he's like, I'm gonna go down here. He's like, Carl, and he's like, bangs yeah. on the the wall and he's like, Hey asshole, yeah. hey shithead. Yeah. They would have yep. come already, and he just walks away. Like, it's just yeah. like, yeah, Rick's I, like, watch your mouth. Yeah, watch your mouth. But he's lost. He lost control at that point, you know. But yeah. then it all comes around, and I love it. Let's move to Michonne real quick. Uh, the other half of this episode, and it's so funny because I actually forgot that she was in this, and I'm like, this is again why I love this episode because it has yeah. Michonne. So here comes Michonne. She's away. You know, she she finishes off Herschel, which again is just like, god damn it, That's you tough. know. No. You see Reminding us what happened in the in the in the, in the finale that you know the the mid season finale and it's just like, yep. You even saw the governor there. You saw the governor. The governor was yep. Yeah, and it, bullet, bullet in his head. And so we saw the, yeah the, we the saw the prison destroyed. It was and, it was so it was so bad, and but then you know so she, not knowing what else to do, returns to form. She takes two walkers and she walks through yep. the herd again. You know. Yep. And then we have this really cool flashback nightmare where we get her backstory yeah. where her boyfriend and i think that was her brother his no, her friend her his boyfriend, friend his brother okay so yeah. her, her boyfriend mike they have a child his yeah. friend and then it just goes through the dream where you know she's she, you know we get to see okay these were the two walkers that we initially saw her with and what she did and she learned how to you know the really cool it, tra transition a glimpse, a glimpse of her yeah, yeah there was a really cool transition where they were in suits having just come from like a museum or whatever an art exhibit and then yeah. a transition of them being in their survivor clothing and talking about stuff then they have no arms and you realize yeah. holy shit these were the guys and you know and the and baby's just, out of arms now yeah you know so she's it, freaking out it was just yeah. a, it was a really good thing and then and then we cut to her walking with the walkers and she keeps seeing this woman that looks like her as a zombie and yeah. I think I I think I review because I used to do these reviews. I used to do Talking the Walking Dead. It was a, it was a, a an ep on my YouTube channel, my gaming channel. I played like video you know zombie games, and I talked about these episodes and I put up the pictures of all the characters and shit. It was really fun. I did that for like a season and a half or some shit like that. But um, I had reviewed this then, and and I remember thinking and saying I didn't go back and watch my own episode, but I I remember thinking that was her. She was she was seeing oh, herself course. as as a, a walker, as just going through this world not really living but not dead yet you know and then till yeah. she decides to make a choice and she decimates the entire herd she's running with the little the mini yeah. herd and oh. she consciously made that choice to be like no i'm not going to be this anymore i have a yep. family now and i'm gonna go fucking find them and yep. so she does and for me like you said mike at the very end she she goes and she initially tracks she tracks them down she yeah, does have another little pudding jar and yeah well, she does have a little breakdown yeah. first when she finds that barbecue place and she says mm -hmm. she's like i'm sorry or whatever you know she's like 
you know, I tried, I, I miss you. I miss yeah. you, Mike and, and, and our son or whatever. And, you know, but yeah. like you said, then she ends up finding them and it was just like, Oh, she, great. she looks in the window and they're talking. I and love that. Yeah, they're yeah. having that heart to heart and she sees them and she starts to cry. She yeah. knocks on the door. He looks up and he's like, it's for you. And it ends I and I'm like, that. oh my yeah, fucking I God. That. Just, yeah, a, I love that. just a fantastic yeah. way to end the episode. A great, so again, mm -hmm. her return to form and then she yeah. switches and says, I don't want to be this anymore. Oh, so. Exactly. It was an evolution of, of, of everyone. It was an evolution of Rick realizing that he needs, you know, he needs Carl to have these skills and farming isn't. And he's the, growing so and he's the kid's growing yes. and can handle his own. You and know? he can handle, he can help out now. He can come out with them. And we see that in, in, you know, we see that from that episode on, we see Carl's um, uh, role as an asset and to go out with right. the rest of the group when they hunt for supplies and this and that. Right. And we see, um, Carl, you know, we see Carl evolving, like I just, like I said, Rick evolving and Michonne evolving Becoming. because she could have easily went she back right. to her, right. like you said, and she broke that, she broke that chain because remember in the beginning of this episode, she sees Rick and Carl's tracks, right? She goes, yeah. she, she doesn't follow it and she goes across the road. Right. And um, like you said, Chris, you know, we're going to agree pretty much, you know, on, you know, on a lot of facts on this episode. But she sees the woman. She sees the dreaded, you know, the, the woman with the dreadlocks. And she sees herself, like you said. Yeah. So I love that because she makes her way back and she follows, you know, she follows yeah, she them. Finds back them. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, it was it, it was a great episode. And I'm glad you picked this one. Yeah. You know. Yeah, definitely. This is probably my top five. Mm -hmm. So, it is probably really high up there too. But I got it. I got one coming up. You got you I got your own. Enjoy. I know. I know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, so, I mean, anything else? I I know, Jess. We, we kind of like uh, we kind of <laughs> left you left you hanging there with the because you know we 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 yeah, probably, pretty much covered said exactly everything. what I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> like some of it exactly how I was gonna say. Yeah. It's just yeah. that. It just uh, it's because when when we, we decided to do this and I was like, what do I what do I which one did I and I just kept going back to whatever whatever I think of the show and I remember special moments like I just always remember Carl yelling at his dad and I just said always stuck with me and then watching mm -hmm. the video the the episode again I was like holy crap like there, there there there's definitely a reason why this is my favorite and and, and obviously everything we just said so again f fucking great episode I love this is a definitely a pivotal episode for everybody yeah. and great acting all throughout oh it's so good it was oh, so yeah. good and and yeah. this is this is like where Chandler Riggs really got a chance to like be you know yeah. like get his get it out get there some you know? lines and yeah get, get yeah, some get some feeling his, out there you know yeah, and a little bit yeah you know just was, just uh, great stuff it was um great anything let me one. just look at my notes uh yeah i mean i guess that's uh just really great if you guys don't know the song carl papa just type in youtube carl papa <laughs> you great like him. <laughs> great song <laughs> he loves to call papa i love he it. does it i believe it was his ringtone at one point and uh, yeah, yeah yeah and um it's uh i remember on stream one time we played it like all night long yeah yeah you, you did like an eight hour stream or something like that and we just with... played it the entire time just on repeat it was so yeah fun. i always like the one from the bad lip reading with carl when he when, with carol and he and he goes like <laughs> yeah he just said three. he just said three he, she's like what <laughs> and then yeah <laughs> i always thought that one that That's was so funny. great but you guys yeah. go check out bad lip reading you with the walking dead said stuff to me or whatever he said did he you she know said, did he? she's like what <laughs> like what the fuck <laughs> Oh, so man. good it's so fun all right guys yeah. well i think i think that's gonna do it um hope you enjoyed this uh quick little trip down memory lane um i'm not sure which one of us is gonna be next on the on the roster um but uh we're gonna have another favorites video out for you soon um please let us know what you thought of this particular episode let us know what you think of these favorite episodes that we're doing and let us know um what your favorite episode if not this one what exactly. your favorite episode is because we'd love to hear that and i know i know yeah. you guys got one or seven like we all do um yeah. but i right mean comments that's right Put you in probably the got all like uh 85 episodes was it oh yeah it's 85 episodes ranked yeah if you do tell us tell us every single one in in order yeah. uh that'd be a long that'd be a long comment 
anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Um, guys, I want to thank you for running down memory lane with me with this with this episode, because this was a fun fucking episode, and I can't wait to see your guys' episode. That's not a real word, but I said it anyway. I... Um, and that's it, guys. Go check us out at Third Person Pod on all the pod, uh, you know, social medias stuffs. And um, I think that's going to do it from us, right? Yep. All right. Yes, sir. Sounds good. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you on the next video. Peace out.